Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Caden. I'm the Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Columbia. And on behalf of our staff in the city, I'd like to extend a warm Columbia welcome uh, to our guests that are with us today. Uh, what a beautiful day it is to be outside as we celebrate the dedication of this wonderful facility. Uh, this day would not be possible with the combined efforts of many people with a common focus. At this time, I'd like to recognize some of those who have made this day possible. And I'd like to start with our mayor and our city council members. Uh, with us today, we have the Honorable Mayor Stephen K. Benjamin, <laughs> as well as Councilwoman Tamika Devine and Councilman Mo Badura. Thank you all for being with us today. Also with us, I, I noticed earlier, was our uh, city manager, Ms. Teresa Wilson. We're, there she is in the back. Thank you for being here as well as uh, our two assistant city managers, Mr. Allison Baker is in the corner over there doing business as usual. So appreciate him being here as well as uh, Miss Missy Gentry. Thank you for joining us today. Also with us today, we have uh, several other people who this project would not have been successful without. Those are our contractors and those that worked with us to make this day possible. I'd like to recognize from MB Con, Jason Green, Jason in the back there. And uh, is Joe Metz here with us today? No, no, sir, he couldn't make it. He couldn't, he's seen enough of this poll. So. <laughs> also with us is Tom Sinclair from Sinclair & Associates with us in the back. And uh, from Clearwater, Mike Easley. Mike, over here. Appreciate you being here with us today. Also, uh, someone else that uh, has made this day possible is uh, our Community Development Office and providing us with some of our funding to make this successful. And representing them today is Ms. Dolly Bristow. Dolly? Thank you very much. Also, the city has a tremendous staff who've worked very diligently to make this happen and we would want to make sure that we recognize them today. Ms. Shannon Lizuski, uh, who is where our contracts division, who is with us. Also, um, Bob Probst, who kind of handled the administration of the project and I saw Sam Cato is here as well. Uh, Michael Shu and several others from our contracts uh, administration division. We appreciate them being here. And also, I believe we've got some uh, folks here representing our uh, City of Columbia Parks and Recreation Foundation or any of those with us today, right here. There we go. Okay, so a lot of people that made this day possible, and we want to make sure that we acknowledge them, uh, as well as our staff. Uh, we had a Yard Crashers event this morning to get some uh, landscaping out front, so they worked really hard to make this day possible. So what you see before you today is a $1.7 million investment in our community. But it's more than that. It's actually 508,422 gallons of summer fun for the families, the children, and the seniors for the city of Columbia. And uh, we want to make sure that we look at it from that perspective. Today celebrates the 64th anniversary of Maxie Gray Pool. So it's a momentous day for us uh, for that reason as well. And many changes have transpired over those years. And what you see before you is a modern version of an outdoor 25 yard wide by 50 meter long uh, competition swimming pool that we can host swim meets, uh, both at the youth level as well as higher level competition. Also a state of the art salt filtration system. Uh, one that you can't see here, but the quality of the water is much, much higher. We're trying to compete with our water district for high water quality. So uh, also a new pool deck and you'll notice the the furniture that's provided for our visitors and our guests that come with us as well as a lift that provides assistance to those that are physically challenged uh, so that they can enjoy this water as well. Also an 1800 square foot renovated bathhouse that is fully handicap accessible with additional showers and you'll notice when you walk through uh, slip resistant flooring. So this is truly a gem for the city of Columbia. As a matter of fact, when you leave today, you'll notice a plaque that has been erected in honor of this day that commemorates this special occasion. Uh, so I'd encourage you to take a look at that when you leave. So at this time, as we start our program, I'd like to introduce Reverend Max Rogel from the Rose Hill Presbyterian Church who will provide our invocation. Reverend? Thank you. May I invite you all to uh, join me in prayer. Let's pray. O Lord God of heaven and earth, we lift our eyes to you this day. We thank you this day on this uh, wonderful occasion for this gift that you've provided to us. Thank you for it. 
those who've contributed their time, their talents, their financial resources, their vision to make this day possible. Lord, we pray this pool, which was once called a place of refuge, would continue to be a place where the people of Columbia can find refuge, refreshment, enjoyment, fellowship, community. May it be an oasis for the people of Columbia. Lord, we pray that this pool would indeed be a place where our neighborhoods can come together in unity and be strengthened. Lord, we ask that your special blessing would rest upon this place. We especially ask that you would watch over all who come here to enjoy this pool, that you would protect them from injury, from accidents, from any kind of harm. May this be a place of great joy for all. Lord God of heaven and earth, we ask these things, trusting in your great goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Reverend. If y'all will uh, excuse me, I would want to retrace because the one person I left out from our staff that has been integral to this, Chris Campbell, is he here? Where's, there's Chris. Um, Chris has been our representative on site and has spent a lot of time here making sure that this goes well. I wouldn't want to uh, miss being able to recognize him today. As I've said, a project such as this would not be possible without the leadership and support of our elected officials who've made quality of life a key ingredient in the economic and physical health of our city and i'd ask at this time if you would please join me in thanking them as we welcome the honorable stephen k benjamin to the podium how about a round of applause for everybody else here who actually got all the real work done all the people that jeff uh, had a chance to recognize this is a wonderful day and a wonderful occasion and a significant move forward for the people of this great city i want to begin by recognizing a woman uh, whose tireless support and advocacy made everything you see before you today uh, possible. Uh, all of our colleagues on City Council will tell you that Dr. Belinda Gergel's reputation for loyalty and persistence was built on the firm but simple principle that if you believe in something, you fight for it. If, and I can't think of anything she believed in more than bringing this 100 plus year old facility back to its former glory. Standing here right now, I'm struggling to think of the 10 or more conversations we had over the two years we served together on city council uh, and since where Maxie Gregg Park did not come up. And though she couldn't be here personally due to prior and unavoidable commitment, and if you know Dr. Gurgel, you know it had to be unavoidable for her to miss this. I know she want to simply say, well, it's about time. Uh, you see, today isn't just about a new pool, pump house, and state-of-the-art filtration system. It's not just about a remodel of bathhouse, showers, bathrooms, and office space. It's not just about the new portable ADA hydraulic lift uh, for swimmers with, with physical challenges and disabilities, the lower maintenance costs, or the economic benefits of attracting first-class swim competitions, because this isn't just a conclusion of a pool project. Um, it's the completion of a vision years in the making to take this irreplaceable piece of our shared history and give it a new future. You see, Maxie Gregg Park is more than just some place to cool off in a famously hot city. It's the countless memories made and friendships born here to last a lifetime. It's more than 100 years of families coming together and laughing with one another, neighbors meeting neighbors. Building, building a community and watching it grow and prosper. It's a part of all of us woven inexorably into the fabric of who we are, reminding us where we come from and how far we've come together. We know how precious that is. This project proves it. And this park will stand henceforth as its, dem as its demonstration, declaring that here in Columbia, we don't dismiss our history, we don't tear it down, and we don't pave over it, we embrace it. We treasure it and we preserve it for all the generations to come behind us because we know it's worth it. That's why I'm so proud to be here today and why I'm honored to join with you to celebrate a new future for Maxie Gregg Park and this wonderful pool and this new chapter in the story of us. Thank you. I'll take the point of personal privilege of, of introducing uh, Councilman Mobadura, uh, District 3 representative, 
and he'll be followed by, uh, you want to make some comments, Mo? And then he'll be followed by Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine, at large representative of our council. Thank you all for being here. And I am honored to be here. Uh, Mesa Greg lives in, in a District 3, so without Belinda Gurgle and her vision and, and uh, I guess, hard headed, this pool will not exist. So for her, thank you. But for everybody to be here and be part of this is also, I'm honored to be here and thank you for being here and all your hard work. Uh, just sitting here and looking at the pool and I can't imagine how many um, children will have great memories, but not all of this, all the laughters. Um, as my son learns how to swim, I can't wait to bring him over here so he can practice and do some laps and do some cannonballs at the same time. So thank you all for coming here. It's a pleasure to be here and it's an honor to be part of this celebration. Thank you. Thank you, and um, I just want to thank um, our staff again for, for this. Um, we at the city, we are very committed, um, as the mayor said, to um, embracing and improving our infrastructure. Um, but I'll have to tell you, um, Dr. Gerwell did um, push this um, because we were quite unsure what we were going to be able to do with this park. Um, it was going, this pool um, was a significant investment, but it's an investment well worth having. Um, as we move forward, um, we um, are going to be embracing and embarking on the same um, with the Greenview Pool in the next few months. And so I think you'll see not just a commitment by our city um, to make sure that every child and adult has the ability to learn how to swim, um, but we will also be um, really trying to make sure that we have the state-of-the-art equipment for everyone who comes to our famous Hot City. So um, as I bring my little ones, as, as Mo talked about, my little one last, the summer before last, uh, she spent several days at Maxi Gregg Pool. And last summer when Maxi Gregg Pool um, was closed, she didn't quite understand that. So I'm excited to bring her this evening, Jeff, so she can see the new improved Maxi Gregg Pool. And we thank you so much. And we just encourage you all to um, come out, enjoy the pool, and, and certainly um, bring Max Greg back to where it used to be. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and, and I can't say enough, the support that we have on council uh, is tremendous. And the fact that they are here with us today speaks volumes. Uh, I wanna thank each one that, uh, that is here today. I, at this time, I would ask that uh, the mayor, our members of council would come forward also, our city manager, Ms. Wilson, she's still with us, right back there, there you go, if you would come forward. Um, also, representatives from MBCon, Sinclair and & Associates, and Clearwater, if y'all would, uh, representatives come forward from those companies. And then we have Golden Scissors on their way up for the official ribbon cutting. Uh, we'd also like to recognize that in conjunction with our ribbon cutting today, we have some uh, swimmers who, when we cut the ribbon, are going to officially dive into the pool to, uh, to dedicate it for us. So uh, it's, uh, I think it's just, as cold as that water is, it's probably going to be. <laughs> so uh, swimmers, if y'all go ahead and uh, get on your blocks. All right, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> 